Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Kim from K&RP and today I'd like to share with you Day 11 of the Friendly Junk Journal People's 12 Days of Junk Journal Gift Tutorials hosted by Linda Israel. Today I am going to do safety pin embellishments and what I am going to use for the safety pin embellishments are strands of beads. The strands of beads are already made. Um, I have them ready because I use these to make dangly earrings because I love long earrings. I figure if you're going to put jewelry on, you better go big or go home. So I have these wonderful little batches of strung beads. I have a multitude of little safety pins. My girlfriend does a lot of secondhand store shopping and always finds me the greatest little bits and pieces. I have lots and lots of these little safety pins. I am going to use some jump rings and I am going to use some coiled wire. This coiled wire is what I use to hold the um, threads together. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. It, it's just a uh, like if you were wrapping a tassel, I just use wire instead of string. The way I make this is I put a piece of my uh, wrapping wire in the chuck of a drill along with a nail and then I turn the drill on very slowly and the wire wraps around the nail and I get these tubes of wrapped wire. So I have some ones already cut. So how I do this is I take an old piece of wire and I take the three stand strands of the beads. The string that these are on come from a craft called Bunka. It's a Japanese thread painting. I used to sell the kits and I have lots and lots of this thread left over. It's very slippery. It doesn't hold knots very well. Um, so after you've tied the knot, it's a good idea to put a bit of glue on to hold it. Also test your beads to see if they're going to come off. If they are coming off, add glue. So I have this folded piece of wire and I just bring the three strands of strung beads to the center point. Then I take the little coil of wire. I use three wraps of it and I just pull that down onto the doubled strands of beads like you would if you were making a tassel. Then I remove it from the bent wire. I take a split ring and two pairs of pliers and gently separate it. I put the strands, the three doubled strands onto the split ring. Oh, didn't take a safety pin out. Sorry, a little behind here. Now I can't open the bag for the safety pins. There we go. These safety pins are three quarters of an inch long, so they are more decorative than anything. And it doesn't look to be a red, but I will use nice hot pink. It's close. So I have the split ring split, holding the three strands of beads. And I'm going to put it through the end loop of the safety pin because the safety pins are so small. I figure if I put it on the base, there's not much room to attach it to anything. So then I just gently put the split ring back, close it with the pliers, making sure that the end isn't rough. 
because you don't want anybody poking themselves or scratching themselves. Now there you have a nice little dangle to add to a junk journal. A tag, a card, even on your purse if you really wanted to. So I have a piece of napkin covered paper left over from my previous project. So I'm just going to show you how that looks dangling against the napkin. Where's the best light? So that gives just a really nice, fun, happy dangle. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you loved it, please subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.